Okay, in this lesson, we're going to use what we know about angles. Okay, vertical, complementary, supplementary angles within a triangle. We're going to use what we know about angles to solve problems. Okay, we're going to use what we know to find actual angles within some drawings that have like algebraic expressions. Okay, and you'll see what I mean when we uh, do this. Um, I want to go over four problems together. And then I'm going to see if you guys can do four on your own. Okay. Um, let's look at problem one. Okay, so what we're doing, we're thinking about a relationship that exists in the drawing that we have. We're going to use that relationship to set up an equation. And then we're going to use X after we solve. We're going to get X. We're going to use X to find missing angles within the shape. Okay. Um, problem one. Okay, we want to think about what do we know about two angles that make up a straight line? Okay, what do we know about those? Okay, those add up to 180. Okay, so I'm going to write down my steps. Angles add up to 180. So I'm going to write an equation. If I know that those two angles add up to 180, I know that 5x minus 18 plus 4x plus 45 equals 180. Okay, so that's the relationship we're going to, to use. We're going to use that relationship to write an equation. Okay, now we're just going to solve. We're going to solve the equation we have. Okay, I want to be real careful to show my steps, write in my steps as best I can. Okay, because when I solve this, I'm going to be combined like combining like terms. And when I combine like terms, I get 5x and 4x is 9x. Okay, negative 18 plus 45 is a positive 27. So now I have 9x plus 27 equals 180. And I'm going to do it this way, you, just so you're showing your steps. You may not be showing it exactly the way I am, but I'm going to just type in subtract 27 from both sides, and that gives me 9x equals uh, 153. And now I'm going to divide both sides by x. I'm sorry, divide both sides by 9 to figure out what x is. And I get x equals 17. Okay, um, so we use the relationship that they add up to 180 to write an equation. And then we solved that equation and got x. Now, the last thing I want you to do for any angle that has a, an expression for, and then this problem is both of them, you want to find out what the angles are. Okay, well, one angle is 4 times x plus 45. And the other angle is 5 times x minus 18. And we know what x is. Okay, so I can find out what the angles are. So I'm going to type in 4x plus 45. Okay, that angle would equal 4 times 17 plus 45. Okay, 4 times 17 is 68 plus 45. When I add those up, I get 113. I don't have room to write down BEG for degrees, so I'll just leave it. Okay, my other angle is 5x minus 18. So I'm going to put 17 in for my x. Okay, so it's going to be 5 times 17 minus 18. I have to multiply first. 5 times 17 is 85. And 85 minus 18 is 67 degrees. Okay, so I use the relationship to write an equation that the angles add up to 180. Okay, I showed my steps when I solved my equation and I got x is equal to 17. 
and then I put 17 into both expressions so I could figure out what the angles are. And you could double check this. If you add 113 and 67 together, okay, you're going to get 180 degrees. Okay. Okay, let's do, I'll try to do two problems in this video, a second problem in this video. Okay, problem two. Okay, think about this uh, shape. Okay, they're giving you two angles, and they're within a 90 degree angle. Okay, remember those are called complementary. Okay, they're within that 90 degree angle, so you know that these two angles add up to 90. Okay, so I'm going to write an equation that shows that. I'm going to show that if I take 3x plus 6 and I add it to 5x plus 4, I'm going to get a total of 90. So I'm just going to solve that equation for x. Okay, see the relationship that they add up to 90 allows me to write that equation. Just typing in the expressions for the angles. Okay, so to... Solve, combine like terms first, 3x plus 5x is 8x, 6 plus 4 is 10, so I get 8x plus 10 is equal to 90, I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides, I get 8x equals 80, I'm going to divide both sides by 8, I get x equals 10. And now I just need to find out what my two angles are that are shown in my drawing. So one angle is 3 times x plus 6. The other angle is 5 times x plus 4. And now that I know what x is, I can figure out what those angles are. So 3 times 10 plus 6 would equal 30 plus 6 would equal 36 degrees. It's 38 since I went off the text box. Okay, the other one is 5x plus 4. So I'm going to put 10 in for x. 5 times 10 plus 4. 5 times 10 is 50. Plus 4 would be 54 degrees. And on this problem as well, you can double check. If you add 36 and 54 together, you will get 90 degrees altogether. Okay, so the relationship was that the angles added up to 90. Okay, so we typed out both angles added up equal to 90, even though they were just expressions. Okay, we showed that we combined like terms. We subtracted 10 from both sides, and we divided both sides by 8, and we ended up with x is equal to 10. Okay, then we put 10 in for each expression for x so we could figure out what the angles actually were. Okay, um, we'll do another video for problems 3 and 4, and then I'll let you try some all by yourself.